Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric, and welcome to another episode of Eric Challenge Time. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you three magic tricks from a coffee shop. This coffee shop is the Starbucks, and just for the record, I am not a big fan of Starbucks. I do not like their coffee. I think it's too strong, but that's just me. All right, so what you need for this first one is one of these, I don't know, what would you call this thing? It's you put it on the coffee so that it, you don't get too hot, right? It's a coffee, don't burn your hand thingy. Coffee, don't burn your hand thingy. That's what I'm gonna call it. And you need two of them, okay? So what you do, you take the two of these, like this, and you stack them on top of each other, okay? And then the challenge is to identify which one of these is longer you know, in length. Is it the top one or is it the bottom one? Which one do you think is longer? So they're even on this side, not so even on that side. Which do you think it is? Most people would say the bottom one, right? It's, it's sticking out at the bottom. But on further inspection, if you put them on top of each other, you can see that they're exactly the same size. Right, exactly the same size. So whichever one you put on the bottom will appear longer. Right? It's just a simple illusion. Right? It's a nice trick, right? Yeah, definitely this one looks longer, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I think so. All right, for the next one. Oh, man. That is some really thick coffee. Birdie, it's so thick that it makes you float when you drink it. It just makes you float, float away. I got something in my eye. The air is really dry. You see that? Something in my eye here. What in the world is that? Uh, I think it's pollen, what do you call it? Uh, hay fever season, perhaps. Okay, well, and now it's in my right eye. Uh, it's even worse. But you know, if you just sort of give your eye a little poke, sometimes you can, yeah. And it's much better. Yeah, I don't know where that, goodness, I've got a mess here. So the second trick, the floating cup, works like this. You make like you're holding it naturally, which you are. Take a sip, right? And then this coffee is so strong, it will float away. Float away, does that look good? Pretty good. Just put a hole in the back of the cup, stick your thumb in it, and you're good to go. All right, the rest of it is just make sure that you're holding it like it looks legitimate. Take a sip of it. Make it flow. It's a winner. Cannot be seen, except from this angle. Right? So it's... And the last one, you need two items for this. You need a creamer, like this, and this, is going to be in your hand concealed like this so you hold this like that okay this side out okay and after you go through the shenanigans about your eyes feeling itchy or whatnot then you finally go in with the uh, stir stick and you go up to your eye and just plant this right here and then you come in like this make sure that your hand is covering your eye socket so you don't pot you know like poke your eye out and then you just go like this right this can't be seen and then come in from underneath and puncture it right in the middle squeeze it a little bit and out comes the pus yeah so there you go three tricks from the any cafe any coffee shop generally most of them have these just about anywhere you can get these so yeah give them a try see which one you like this one is my personal favorite, although cleanup is a little bit of a, of a mess. It's worth it. The, the impact of that trick when it oozes out is um, it's powerful, right? I don't know. I'll have to watch this one back. Hopefully it's powerful enough for me not to have to do it again or re-edit this video. But as always, I thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next Eric Challenge Time next week, next Monday. Every Monday is a new episode. See you then.